Thank you, Edward Drink and Coke, for coming, and your, your assistant, Ricky. Sure, anytime. So we'd like to know a little bit about your childhood. I was born um, July 28, 1840. Um, my mother died when I was three, but it didn't really have that big of a impact on um, I grew up in a home called Fairfield in Philadelphia. Um, I, when I was little, I went on a lot of trips with my stepmom and dad to New England, and we saw zoos and um, like gardens, and that was what really got me interested in zoology. And I went to a day school um, that was, it was a very good school that my dad wanted me to go to because he wanted me to have the same education he had. And in the summers, he would take me back to um, Philadelphia and try to become a farmer, but I wanted something more in the scientific profession. Oh, so how did you convince your father that you wanted to be a paleontologist? Um, I kept sending him letters of like complaints, how I didn't want to be a farmer, and I wanted to be in the science field, and he finally paid for my university classes. Okay, so where did you go to school for your paleontology? I went to Haverford College for my university classes. And how long did you attend him? Uh, a very brief time, I didn't get as much scientific knowledge as I wish I could. So what did you do when you got out of college? When I got out of college, I started um, researching and exploring um, extinct fish, reptiles, and mammals. And what kind of fish or reptiles did you find? Well, one of my most, most famous ones was the Elasmosaurus. When did you find the Phantom Bird? I found it in 1868 during the Bone Wars. And what did you find out about the Galapagos Bird? Um, it had an extremely long neck for hunting. Um, it lived in the Cretaceous, late Cretaceous period, 18, 82 million years ago. It was 42 feet long and 30 feet tall, and weighed about and uh, weighed approximately 2.3 um, 2.3 tons. Um, and the name means thin plated lizard and it has 75 to 76 vertebrae. Very interesting. So this was during the Bone Wars, right? And who were you with during the Bone Wars? Um, me and Othniel Marsh were competing um, during Bone Wars um, because we were just trying to find the most fossils we could of dinosaurs and everything. That's why it was called the Bone Wars. And did he figure out anything about this dinosaur? Um, unfortunately, yes, he realized that I had put the head of the Elasmosaurus on the tail. Do you know how exactly how long the neck was? Eight meters. Wow. So, what other dinosaurs did you discover in your life? Um, the Lystrosaurus. My assistant, Ricky, will tell you about it. The Lystrosaurus class was a toxin bio biological group found in Antarctica. Um, it is extinct. The range is late Permian to early Jurassic of South Africa, Antarctica, India, China, and Russia. Um, it is medium to large size, short and very deep skin. Okay. Is there any other dinosaurs you would like to tell us about? Um, yes, the uh, Therapsid. during the end of the Permian extinction um, 251 million years ago. Um, most of the thoracids were wiped out along with 95% of all other animal species. Um, the jaws of the thoracids are more complex and powerful. Their legs are positioned more vertically beneath their bodies and are the sprawling legs of reptiles and well, how long did you research about the fish, the reptiles, and the mammals? 22 years. And how old were you when you finished your 22 years? Um, 40 years old. And what did you do in the later years? Well, my inheritance was smuggled out away from me, and I didn't have enough money to um, keep my house and pay the bills for it. So I was kind of forced to move into my 
storage area where I would research my fossils of my dinosaurs that I had found and such. And while this was happening, I had a threatening illness that I could not I died. So when did you finally die from your threatening illness? I died April 12, 1897. Wow, so where are all your fossils now? <coughs> all my fossils are now in the Academy of Natural Science. So this wraps up our interview for Mr. Pope. Thank you for coming, and thank you, Ricky, for being the assistant. Sure, have a nice day. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, and now. <laughs> Give me a minute. 